coming worry in your life. It's in this verse, and I said this in, at the Twin View service, but I think it's really important to hear this, is a lot of times we learn these memory verses, Bible verses, when we're kids, when we're in preschool, when we don't even know what worry is. And we memorize them, and then by the time we're adults, it's like autopilot, and we're like, oh, I know that verse. I know that verse. But we're actually, we need to relearn what the verses are, because life is way different when you're an adult, and there's stuff, stressful, lot normal life. Those little Bible memory verses, as we learned as a preschooler, are actually for today just as much, if not more, and we need to re- reread them for all that they're worth. And I'm going to read you this, and here's the keys in this verse to overcoming worry in your life, and it is clear and it is plain as day, but yet a lot of us don't get this, don't walk this out, don't understand this. And this is part of what I started going through this last week and a half with asking God the questions. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Do you ever, maybe it's just me, but do you ever get annoyed at the most obvious verse and you're like, no, duh, don't, when God says don't sin and you're like, like it, no kidding, don't sin, but it's really hard or or don't worry. I need to learn how not to worry because it feels impossible. Well, here's how not to worry. Don't be worried about a thing. Be saturated, the first key, be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Each day. Don't, it doesn't say just pray. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. Remember the grace that God gave you for the day is for today, not tomorrow. Each day. Offering your faithful request before God, here's the second key, with overflowing gratitude and thankfulness. Tell them every detail of your life. Now, for me, it's, it's, prayer is a tricky thing because I, the way I think is I think God already knows everything that's going on in my mind anyway, so why do I have to say it? Why do I have to tell him? But if you could just get this visual picture, and I think it's really important. I think that we have to, to process with God. By the way, a lot of you, and I said this before, but we process with people far too much. We need to process with God a lot more. How about let's test it out on God and then go to people? Process with God. Tell them what's going on. Tell them, ask them the questions. God, I'm struggling with this. Let it come out of your mouth when you're alone with God. Not when you're walking down the street or a theory. Come on. I've seen, I see people do that all the time. I'm like, anyways, get alone with God. Process out loud with him. Tell them what's going on with your life. Tell them every detail. And then it says this, and God's wonderful peace. I love this part that transcends all human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ.